good morning students today we are going to learn the first topic of it subject operating system so look at these images what these images are representing none other operating system so the center image is a famous windows operating system you all are familiar with windows operating system yes and the right hand side the pen cube this is linux and this one left hand side is mac os what is operating system before get into the content first of all any topic you are learning you should know what is it and why do we have to study this topic so what is operating system look at this image operating system is actually managing your disks and files it is monitoring the various activities going on your computer and it is the resource manager it is allocating resources so actually you can define operating system as an interface between an application and hardware so here application in this one software the two major components of computer system are hardware and the software and this os again a software called as system software who is having a control over the hardware and the software that's why it is acting as an interface between the intermediator of uh, in between the computer and the user yes now you got the point it's an interface between the user and the computer how it is between user and computer in the sense it is controlling all the hardware and software that's why it is helping or it is a good intermediate between ya yeah, between the system and the user so this picture is depicting that representation and this is to what are all the jobs and need need for os why do we need os yes and next we are going to learn the different types of operating system first one is single user operating system in the sense at a time a single user can operate what os for example you all are having mobile phone so at a time only one user can participate android operating system in phone and mac os and apple computers or single user operating system ms dos mac os android ms dos are example for single user similarly we are having another category called multi user operating system that is multiple users of the system resources simultaneously can be used linux windows are some examples for multi user operating system similarly multitasking you can run multiple jobs simultaneously on a computer system the examples were apple mac os windows time sharing operating system so time sharing operating systems are multitasking system whereas the time is divided equally among all the jobs waiting for cpu okay and real time operating system so the work which are majorly depends on data processing and they really need to be responded quickly based on time okay so those kind of operating systems are called real time operating system that is robots weather forecasting satellites they should have a good uh, control over they they should obey to data and they should give a very good input they should be very sharp okay so those kind of tasks that's why the name real time real time is given to this okay patient monitoring so they all are sensed to applications so those kind of uh, applications require real time operating systems and distributed operating systems that is various independent machines connected with each other and they have a control over in a, either in central or distributed they are very complex and this this kind of these kind of operating system should be managed effectively so the tool about different types of operating system so today in this session we learned what is operating system why do we need operating system and 
what are the different types of operating system so next session we will learn the different user interfaces uh, available for interacting with the computer